Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Dutch Crochet. Today I'm going to show you yet another fingerless gloves tutorial. And if you want to see all my other fingerless gloves, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So today I want to show you how to crochet these little fingerless gloves. They take no time to do at all. I only took about half an hour to do both of these and they don't take up a lot of yarn, but yet they are really, really warm. So they're actually a perfect little project even if you're a beginner, because they are so easy to do. It's actually just single crochet all the way. So just follow this tutorial and then you can make these nice fingerless gloves. Let's begin. First, a little about the materials for the yarn. I've used this Honey Bunny from Hobby. You can see the info right here. This is a super bulky weight six and it calls for a seven millimeter hook. I will write down in the description how much yarn you will need for this project. Then I've used my 7mm crochet hook and some scissors and finally a tapestry needle. First we begin with a slip knot. Make a loop with your yarn, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we chain 14, so yarn over and pull through, yarn over. Pull through 14 times in total. When you have 14 chains, it looks like this. Then we skip the first chain, this one, move on to the second chain and insert your hook. So insert the hook in the second chain and single crochet. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over pull through two then find your next chain this one and single crochet into this do one single crochet in every chain all the way across when you're all the way across your first row looks like this we chained up 14 and we skipped the first one, so you should have 13 single crochet when you're all the way across. Then we chain one and then turn. Now we will begin working into these stitches. We will only be working through the back loop of the stitch from now on. And I will show you the back loop. This is the whole stitch and this is the back loop of the stitch. We will only be working through this back loop of the stitch from now on. So we skip the turning chain we just did, move on to the second stitch, this one, and work a single crochet through the back loop of the stitch. So insert the hook in between these two legs of the stitch and single crochet into the back loop of the stitch. Continue to the next stitch, this one, insert the hook in the back loop of the stitch and single crochet. And the next one, back loop, single crochet. Continue with one back loop, single crochet all the way across and you should still have 13 stitches when you're all the way across. And then it would look like this. Then we chain one. We will always chain one to turn. And then repeat this row. So just skip the first one, move on to the second stitch and do a back loop single crochet. So skip your turning chain, insert the hook in the next back loop single crochet. Continue in the next back loop, single crochet. Continue with one back loop, single crochet in every stitch. When you make it to the end, you chain one and turn and repeat the same thing. So just repeat this row again and again. Until you have 17 rows in total. Or until it fits around your hand. 
this measures mm, 20, 19 centimeters for me, 19 and a half. But that depends how uh, big your hands are. So now I will cut the yarn. Remember leaving a bit of yarn for sewing to just cut it. And then pull this loop through and then find your tapestry needle. And then we want to sew this together. So you just fold it and then we will make a seam down here. Remember we, we have to leave room for the thumb. So we'll just make sure it's nice and safe up here. This is where the most pressure is. You know, when you put it on, you pull a lot up here. So you have to make sure it's really good and tight. Then I will sew for about three centimeters down the edge right here. Oops. And then I will um, weave in this yarn or secure it. Then I will cut it. So now I have sewn for three centimeters. Then I will cut the yarn. And then I will attach the yarn on the opposite side up here. And then I will sew for three centimeters up here. Then I weave in this end as well, just like the other side, like that. And then cut the yarn, remove all this extra fuss. Then I turn it around. And there we have it. And I have, of course, made another one as well. So now we can put them on and you see they are so nice and warm and they take no time to do at all. These are really nice for a little walk. So I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!